Here we are, it's 2011 Mayfest, AKA German Fest, held in the spring, each spring in Chicago. This is my personal eighth, count it, eight. Eight. This right here, you can't, there's no currency here. The Germans do not like currency. So you need to buy this ticket book. But I got a little secret. They give you 10 tickets and you can buy one of these bad boys right here for $10, 10 tickets, $10. If you do the old uh, skimmeroo, <laughs> take two of these off the top, put it in your pocket, walk up to the counter and slide this packet, I'll get one of those the same as if I handed them 10. Um, I shouldn't be telling you this because you have to come here at least five times to know this information, but those are just some veteran moves I'd like to share with everyone. Here we here we are at Mayfest 2011, Chicago, Illinois. What does Mayfest mean to you, sir? Mayfest, well, there's a lot to it. Uh, but uh, basically, it's celebrating spring and fertility. Indeed. Indeed. Oh, I'm sorry, this is my sixth appearance. He's got a baby on the way. Yes. A big one. But it's not, it's not it's in not. his belly. And uh, Scott, uh, what would you say uh, is the biggest attraction for you at Mayfest this year? The big German women. We're here at Mayfest 2011, and it's it's a very exciting time. I'm here with Miss Kelly Conley, and she is a true vet in herself. Kelly, what, what what number of Mayfest is this for you? Well, it's number four Mayfest, but it's number eight German Fest. I witnessed my friend kick a small dog. There's no other place in the world I'd rather be. And I'm celebrating my bachelor party this weekend, and I couldn't think of a better spot. Whoa, bachelor party, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like everyone in the world to know that of all the places in the world this bachelor could be tonight, he chose to be with us right here in Chicago, right. Illinois, Mayfest 2011. What are you looking to get out of uh, German Fest or Mayfest, depending on how you look at it? Good beer and good company. Can't ask for more. Um, you know, the one thing that I regret about Mayfest is that it doesn't serve Four Loco. Do you have a comment on that? You know, I've had Four Loco a couple times. It's always been a delicious drink. I've always kept it under control, and that's about any kind of drinking activity. I'm drinking for all the pregnant ladies! <laughs> Mayfest, the lines are too long, and there's bitches who cut in line, but we took them down, so. Bitches. Oh, good now. I have seen the Maypole. I have not seen the Maypole. And that is both literal and metaphorical, ladies and gentlemen. She means that in double meaning right there. I want to say that uh, this beverage is for real. Beer and polka! Beer, broads, and brats. Oh, I like that. The three Bs. The three Bs. Uh, that would be mine too. Beer, broads, and brats. How, how would you guys describe your sound? We're really messed up. We're just messed up. That's all it is. It's, we try to entertain everybody in every way possible, playing polka, punk rock style. We want to bring polka into the 21st century screaming. Yeah! If you had one thing to sum up 2011 Mayfest, what would you say? Outrageous fun. The best time of my life. It was a religious polka beer broad experience. I'm so happy I can't talk. I had a polka tasm, I suppose. Oh! You heard it right here, a polka tasm, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for having us tonight. Thank you.